Dr. Raja, Dr. Sri D. Raja. Oh, you manipulated it, eh? You managed it. Okay. Absentism, eh? Huh? You managed this absentism. <laughs> the Raja, being Raja can do so many things. <laughs> sir, thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, budget is a very serious exercise. And in a country like ours, budget occurs great importance. Economics and politics cannot be divorced. Whatever the claims the government makes in political domain, they will have to be correspondingly supported by the economic policies outlined by the government. Their budget becomes important to question the government's policies and question the government's understanding of the economy. Sir, considering the time constraint, I move point by point. This budget doesn't have adequate steps to contain inflation. There is no measure to create more jobs as promised by the Prime Minister and the government. There is no increase in direct tax on the rich. But government gives assurance to reduce the corporate tax. There is burden of indirect tax which continues to be more on the poor people on the poor people. Sir, government talks about banking reforms, but there is no visible, tangible action against willful defaulters. Government doesn't want to speak on willful default by the rich, by the corporate houses. But government goes on expressing concern over the growing non-performing assets of banks and in a way blaming it on the banks, nationalized banks and public sector banks. Sir, if you closely scrutinize the figures, there is less allocation on health and education. I do not know what is the understanding of the government. Even the International Monetary Fund has pointed out the growing inequalities in the society among the nations. And it is the IMF economists who advise the nation states to spend more on health and education. But here we find less allocation on health and education. Sir, the outlay on farmers, farming sector, farmers' welfare really stands reduced, stands reduced. And in the case of scheduled cost component plan, tribal sub plan, despite the claims of government, there is actual reduction, there is actual reduction. And government will have to consider some of these issues in the interest of our economy. Sir, since 1991 onwards, our economy has been highly dependent on foreign exchange inflows, whereas it is dependent on more foreign exchange, that is US dollars, than Indian rupees. I can very well call Indian economy is not a rupee economy. 
it has become us dollar dominated economy us dollar dominated economy sir even the current account on gdp of india normally been determined by more inflow of american dollars the foreign investments always our current account is in deficit mode where us dollars receivables by way of exports and services are less than payables to import services imports and services sir always we find the us dollar is premium and currently it is around 6% the, the our economy is really dependent on us dollar sir as our borrowings all our borrowings including the government including the government the external commercial borrowings by government companies are all in london interbank offered rate london interbank offered ra rate which is called libor rate of interest on denominated in uh, foreign currency which are subject market which are subjects market driven factors and mostly are controlled by manipulators and speculators than real economic factors of supply and demand i do not know whether uh, the finance minister and the steam applied their mind because uh, there are issues i can i raised it in the past also while economy is in such a form our country already faced huge foreign currency derivative fraud foreign currency derivative fraud and libor manipulation in the year 2006 2009 and this side may tell me if i stand uh, i am wrong i stand corrected and uh, the matter sir the manipulation in the year 2006 and 9 have affected our economy to the extent of 40 billion us dollars and the matter is pending in honorable supreme court since february 2010 under public interest litigation it is for the government to probe the issue and try to find out the truth how this fraud was committed the rbi have fined sir rbi has fined 19 banks which includes public sector bank that is state bank of india six private banks in india and 19 foreign banks in india all paid the penalty unconditionally without appeal and accepted the guilt this is i am talking about even the united states where we witnessed this fraud the fbi investigated this fraud and levied more than multi billion us dollars and all fraudulent banks including bank of america jb morgan chase and all these details are there before the government but what i am trying to say government will have to investigate it further and it is in the interest of our economy how this kind of derivative fraud was allowed in the past and what we should do now sir coming to the agricultural sector the government talks a uh, lot about uh, agriculture sector but actually speaking the fossil bima the that is the scheme they are talking about the fossil bima eludes majority of farmers as the budget estimates that only half will be covered by march 2019 that is what uh, your budget says that it will always elude the poor farmers who need the facility most simply because bima companies work on market logic they are they are driven by market they are work on market logic and not on social security logic or social benefit logic or social welfare logic sir 
anyway the budget is a meager 9000 crores 9000 crores large populations of tenant farmers tenants i am talking about tenant farmers stand totally bypassed totally bypassed and there is no provision to meet the consumption needs consumption needs sir the finance minister announced several things several things i can put how the funds allocated for mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee schemes is in the actual figures less less not to the uh, meet the uh, requirement of the situation as it prevails today sir if you take the scheduled cash component plan tribal sub plan finance minister claims there is increase but what is our understanding of scheduled cash sub plan component plan or tribal sub plan sir these plans were conceived way back in 1970s we had the planning commission now after your government came you dismantled planning commission now there is niti ayog i do not know what is the mandate of niti ayog if i understand what niti ayog does it is nothing but transferring public assets to the private sector promoting private sector patronizing private sector even the niti ayog goes to the extent of saying privatize some functions of uh, niti ayog uh, railways and uh, why you are privatizing public sector undertakings i cannot understand sir in this house we discussed what is the strength of our economy if not the public sector undertakings if not the public sector banks if not the insurance companies what is the strength of our economy why you intend to go for reckless massive disinvestment of public sector undertakings sir salem steel plants one of the best public sector undertakings why your government should allow salem steel plants to be privatized and bengal chemicals why you want to privatize idpl why durgapur idpl why you want to privatize what is your understanding of uh, indian economy and uh, sir this is one issue in that context i raise this uh, scheduled cash component plan and tribal sub plan sir it was uh, the issue was raised yesterday by my uh, comrade uh, punia by colleague uh, punia earlier it was raised by jatav uh, narendra jatav who was planning commission member if you go by jatav guidelines jatav guidelines what should have been the money and the mos finance is sitting here i am asking him if the guidelines were to be followed this year's allocation would have worked out to rupees 91386 crores in other words this year's allocation for scs is rupees 44246 crores short of the agreed amount similar shortfall for scs works out to rupees 18073 crores what are we doing sir are we honest and truthful to our own people why this uh, uh, fiscal statistical uh, jugglery that we are playing with and we are trying to uh, mislead the people in fact your allocation for scheduled cash component plan tribal sub plan has gone down it is not to the tune of amount which has to be according to the jadav guidelines the planning commission guidelines that is where i question the mandate of uh, niti ayog who decides all these things who decides i want to know how this scheduled cash component plan or tribal sub plan should be there who decides <coughs> government should explain to us in the absence of planning commission some authority will have to decide and there is no central legislation way back we had a legislation in the state assembly yeah, in andhra pradesh united andhra pradesh later on we had one legislation in the state of karnataka and there is a demand 
there should be a central legislation to govern the functions of a scheduled cost component plan and tribal sub plan whether the government is agreeable to it whether the government has any commitment to the welfare of scheduled cost and scheduled tribe if there is commitment then agree for a central yes. legislation sir i am no completing i am coming to end sir uh, then agree for the the scheduled cost and uh, uh, sh scheduled tribe sub plans a central legislation sir because you have uh, rang the bell i must obey to you you are my no, no, beloved no. Uh, I, chapa, I, sir i know <laughs> i i know you will you will only stop after finishing all points i know that yeah. ah, i know that yeah. <laughs> eh yeah. eh that's why he says beloved chairperson yeah 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 beloved <laughs> <laughs> sir yes, finally beloved. i come to uh, the end sir what is uh, the real problem which we are confronting the unprecedented economic inequality sir let us uh, forget which party we belong to let us look at the reality as reality what is happening in the country are we not confronting this issue unprecedented inequality where poor people are becoming more poorer a handful of uh, corporate houses 1% of the population owning 58% of national assets wealth what is this sir story of uh, wealth creation in our country who creates wealth in our country if not the tiling people if not the workers farmers agricultural workers or the uh, the employees who creates they create wealth what is their share in the country's wealth why there should be such unprecedented inequality horrible inequality sir shameful inequality why our people the morning we discuss the existence of manual scavenging how people are dying in septic tanks how people are denied manual scavenging on one side moon Ch chandrayaan on other side what is this the, the india of uh, uh, mangalyaan ah uh, mangalyaan manual scavenging on one side mangalyaan uh, on the other side india presents an horrible picture of conflicts horrible picture of conflicts and discriminations disparities and this budget will have to address such fundamental issues government instead of resorting to rhetorics poverty poor people empowerment of poor people what do you do on the ground through your economic policies that's what i would like to know from the government what do you do for the upliftment of poor people through your economic policies so sir okay. these are some of the fundamental issues yes. government will have to think over government will have to reconsider government will have okay. to really uh, they can work if there is a will they can find the way okay. but whether they have that will to address these issues that is my question okay thank you sir thank you very much all right raja thank you very much now sri